Okay. Almost all of the ammonia in the world is produced by this process and um, it's worth a lot of money. And Fritz Haber is the one that developed the equipment and procedures for making ammonia from nitrogen and hydrogen gas in the early 1900s. And um, he received a Nobel Prize in chemistry for it. And then Carl Bosch is the one that won the Nobel Prize in chem as well for taking um, this chemical reaction and transforming it into something that could be made on an industrial scale. So here's the reaction for producing ammonia. It's a exothermic reaction. A couple things that I'd like you to note are we have four gaseous reactants and two gaseous products. So in terms of how volume, pressure, and temperature will affect the production of ammonia, if this is an exothermic process, would I want to increase or decrease the heat to shift to the right? Decrease. Okay, so you want to decrease the temperature because if you remove some heat, which is a product in an exothermic reaction, it will cause you to, to, to shift to the right, bring some of that heat back, right? Now, in terms of the volume, would I want to increase or decrease the volume of this gaseous reaction mixture to encourage us to shift to the right? If you decrease the volume, that will raise the pressure, and that means you want to shift to the side with fewer particles, which is this one. So you would want to decrease the volume, which will cause an increase in pressure, and then that will cause you to shift to the right to relieve some of that added pressure. Okay. Okay. Um, so on the next page in the sh shaded region, they tell you what you need for a higher percentage yield on the ammonia. We just went over it. That's pretty much it for this section. Okay. 